Hmm. Yeah, we're just turning in the quest, aren't we? Good call. Good catch. <clears throat> I try and give, uh, give my NPCs interesting flavor. Very well. Continue in like manner, and you will soon find yourself inundated with greater works of the temple. Good, because that was dull. All right. What are we doing here? Maybe we need to get to rep 60 before... Uh, before we can go the next... I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's the, the thing. The only nugget, negative thing is, is you gotta kind of look online to find out uh, what, you know, what, what you need to do. I think I actually have to be uh, better potentially at some of the s spell schools that I'm a, a, a good at. I just recently started a game of Iron Sworn. There's actually no GM. Wait a minute. First of all, what is this Iron Sworn game? I have not heard of this. And secondly, how on earth can you play with no GM? Explain this to me, s'il vous plaît. I am most piqued in curiosity, I am. We'll do the possessed child. We'll get it done. Out of the way. Would you? By Pelagus, you have a heart as big as Daggerfall, Acolyte. The child's name is Alona Kingford. She's a little girl over at the King Heart residence here in Charway. But the person you'll want to speak with is her guardian, Gwynvera Gersmith, over in the Flying Wolf. If, based on what she has to say, you feel that an exorcism is in order, go see Alabictor Yeomfield in the Kingdom Residence of Galifort. I'll expect this whole unfortunate affair to be resolved in 32 days, and to see you here then. Good luck. Okay, be with you. Alright, so... Guardian, you're the Flying Wolf. Th. Hey, lady. Excuse me, lady. Can you tell me where uh this chick is? Apparently not. Is that the person? Yes, that's the guardian. Hey, lady. Okay. Uh, enough of the really bad Jerry Lewis impersonations. <laughs> Oh, well, come on now. Wow, look at that. Listen, I ain't got time for this. Why don't you just kiss off, Galadoon? Okay. <laughs> it is like collaborative GMing. It is a really cool mechanic. The story progresses more on roles rather than prescribed by the GM. Hmm. An interesting concept. I'll have to uh, investigate this further. Iron Sworn. Flying Wolf is to the east. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I filled in the blanks. Typos are a natural thing in any kind of chat typing. Okay. Gotta find this chick. Cool thing is this info mode, and we're looking for Gersmith lady, some lady named Gwen Gwen Vera Gwen Gwen Gwenny Vera Gersmith of the Flying Wolf. That's not her. That's not her. That's not her. That's her. This looks sus. She looks sus. She looks very suspect. Sus. Sus. Look at her, she's spooky looking. All right, uh, we're gonna speak to her now though. We're gonna quick save. Oh, we haven't done a quest save in a while either. Yes, all right, here we go. 
You're from the Order of Arcade. Thank you, Kenneth. You, thank Kenneth, you're here. They say you can get to Alpha's Victorium Field, the Exorcist in the Kingdom Residence, and he has some special prayer beads for possessions like this. I can't convince Alpha Victorium Field to get me the prayer beads myself, but someone like you, with the authority of the Order of Arcade, could go to Galfort and talk to him. I know you can convince him. Hmm. He wants me to go convince this dude to get some special prayer beads to exercise the kid. Okay. And he is in... Kingdom Re the Kingdom Residence in Gallifort. Gallifort, okay. I can click on it here. Hopefully it's not too far away. Yep. Yeah, currently uh, the D and D group that that I'm very fortunate to be a part of and to be a DM of, uh, we are within the next couple of months going to wrap up a, com a campaign that has uh, has actually been going on for two years. Two years. We play every weekend for two years. Now, obviously, there's been a few times where we missed uh, because of illness or you know events, things like that. Uh, sometimes we would actually make up the missed day on a different day, and sometimes we would just skip a week. But yeah, uh, our campaign, I, I, I create these story-based campaigns, and we've been going on for two years, and my characters are now almost, they're like level 18, and uh, it's been pretty amazing. Uh, and, and they are coming close to the, uh, the um, um, climax slash end of, of this two year long campaign and it's it's very very rewarding to to be able to DM Star Kitty and our friends through this amazing experience with them. Uh, I mean I you know I hope it's an ex an amazing experience for them. It's definitely an amazing experience for me. So uh, how how did I decide to start streaming? Um yeah I know it'll be bittersweet to finish but it'll also be really neat to start something new and fresh too. So that's the cool thing about about Dungeons and Dragons. Um, you uh, you have these fond memories of your characters that you can look back on, but you can create new ones with brand new ones. So, um, to answer your question, how did I decide to start streaming? Well, um, I don't. Know, I guess. Um, Originally, I thought I just wanted to make YouTube videos, and I do. I'm going to. Uh, I'm, I'm creating recordings. I need to. Right now, I'm trying to find a, find an editor software that works for me. Um. Uh. But I thought maybe I, uh, as a as a side thing, I could also I could if I'm going to get into YouTube, then I might as well also do some streaming too. Give me some some gaming content for the YouTube channel. Um. But also, you know, I just. Uh, I'm I'm kind of in a position where it seems like it, it would be fun and interesting to do. Uh, also, I guess when I was younger, I kind of always felt like it'd be neat to be an actor. Um, I never really pursued it too much because I was just distracted by life. And um, so this kind of gives me the opportunity to uh, be my own boss and still sort of be an actor. If that answers your question. Um, where am I going again? Uh, Kingdom Residence in Gallifort. We need to find a person in this place.
Oh, fountain. Mm I'm sorry, Galadoon, but I can't give prayer beads to just anyone who suspects they know a victim of possession. It's far too rare and expensive. You're going to have to at least see the child before I agree to parting with prayer beads. Uh, wish I had gone and done that first. And where is she? Kingheart residence in Charway. So she's back where we came from. Should have gone and seen her first, I suppose. Oh well. <clears throat> uh, let me quick save just in case I'm screwing up here. Hmm. Uh, Oops, if you actually. Click on the thing you allows you to type. Uh, Kingheart Residence, Alona Kingford. Let's find a non rude person. Good day, sir. Yeah, I'm fortunate that I'm able to, to, to play with this group um, for this is actually the second campaign I've had with this particular group. Uh, no, actually third. That's right, because in our second campaign, we let a, a friend of ours who's no longer part of the group because he had to move on to other things. But he actually DM'd us through the uh, the Strahd, the Fifth Ed Strahd book. And uh, that was a lot of fun uh, that I got to be a player. And um, before that, I had DM'd this same group um, in, in a unique world that I had created. And then now this one we're about to finish is a unique world that, that, and so like our first campaign lasted a whole year. The second campaign pain we did lasted about eight months or so. And then this campaign has lasted two years. And, uh, Ooh, yep, definitely. Oh, for sure. Maybe, maybe uh, sometime soon. Maybe so. Tomorrow for me is free for all fi Friday. Um, I've been thinking about that. That Fridays might be a fun day to do, like a just a just chatting. If you'd be interested in that, I would. I'd be glad to for like some portion, not not like for hours or anything, but maybe you know 20, 30 minutes, an hour at most. Uh, we could just do a just chat. Um, and uh, I'd be, be honored to share a bit of myself and hear all about you as well. Uh, okay, so this is the, the possessed child, apparently. We're going to give a secondary save. Cool, all right. So, a uh, little girl. Can't tomorrow, though? Okay, no worries. Oh, yeah, I understand. Um... Well, I can do it another time then. No, no problem at all. Um, there once was a girl named Vivian who met Sahabul of Oblivion. They decided to mate, and later they ate Elona Kingford, their child. Yum yum. Okay. Yeah, she's a little bit freaky. 
So is that all I had to do was meter and now I can go back and get the prayer beads? Oh, I don't know who Sahbul is, but that was the name Elona Kingford spoke when I saw her. That little girl is possessed, mad, or the best actor in Charway. It may be a good time to see The Exorcist in Galifort. Hmm, okay. Off we back to Galifort. Sure, it's the same place, King Residence. They shut the doors on me. Uh. That's right, he was in the attic, wasn't he? Yeah. Sehbul? Alona Kingsford did mention the name Sehbul. Well, if this possession is a sham, it is at least a well-researched one. Here, then, is the prayer beads. Just hold it with you when you next speak with the child. But beware, the Daedra Ilona Kingford mentioned is a Daedroth of great power. When the exorcism is complete, it will leave her and appear elsewhere in the Kingheart residence. Be ready for a battle when it does. Good luck, Galadun. Kinnereth be with you. Hmm. Well, uh, Whiskey Jack, you let me know what day, uh, what day is good for you, and I'm, I can be, I can always open up my schedule, um, you know, to do just chatting sometime. Uh, whenever, no hurries, no rush. <clears throat> hmm. We were going back to Charway. Again. It's always raining in Charway. So how about you, Whiskey Jack? Have you, uh, uh, you, you said that you're currently playing a, a unique, interesting sounding role playing game that I've not heard of. And uh, I'm, I'm assuming that you've played Dungeons and Dragons in the past and or, you know, still do. Which, uh, which editions have you tried? All right, got a quick save, a tiny little place. If a demon's gonna pop up, there's not gonna be a lot of room to fight. <clears throat> oh, by the mist's madness, I feel so much better. When Vera Gearsmith told me that the prayer beads would help us, and she was right. Oh, thank you, kind acolyte. I'll keep this prayer beads for protection. Goodbye. Wait, she took my prayer beads? Little thief? Hmm. I gotta go find... Her, it was the flying wolf, I believe. She was her guardian was at by the iron sworn and stars without number. Hmm. That sounds intriguing. <clears throat> Have not heard of that one either, but it sounds cool.
My experience with role-playing games extends to all the different editions of Dungeons and & Dragons. Um, and uh, Gamma World. Um, Shadowrun. Um, the White Wolf series. Which, I don't know if it's owned by the same people anymore. Anyway, it was the Werewolf Apocalypse and Vampire the Masquerade and, and Mage the Awakening. And um, uh, what else? I think that might be it as far as as far as uh, like actual tabletop role playing games go. Hmm, that's a different lady. Uh oh. Good day to the acolyte. You're probably looking for that brunette queen. Gwyn Vera Gearsmith, who slipped out of here after boasting about stealing some kind of prayer beads from the Order of Arche. If you have 50 gold pieces to spare a friend, I could get you n get let you know where Gwyn Vera Gearsmith went. What do you say? Wow, that's a steal. But whatever. Nice doing business with you, Galadun. You'll find that brunette queen over at the Greenham residence. Uh, Gamma World might be hard to find. It's really old, and I don't think it even exists anymore. Shadowrun is definitely still in print. Uh, and I think the White Wolf series is, is as well. In fact, there's a new uh, CRPG version of Werewolf, I think, that just showed up and is being played on, on streams right now um, on Twitch. And I've considered trying it out. It looks kind of intriguing. So, um... She said that she went to... the Greenham residence. Okay. See, this is why I don't like doing this quest, because it's just a... You just keep getting sent around on a wild goose chase. I'd rather wander around in a dungeon. But at least it breaks things up a little, I guess. Uh... Wait, was that where she was going to be at? What are your favorite kind of games to uh, watch, Whiskey Jack, on, on stream? Um, if you don't mind me asking. I'm curious to expand my repertoire since I'm basically kind of a variety gamer. Uh, I'm open to all kinds of cool games that I haven't tried. Or even replaying games that I have, but... Um, just curious what, uh, what, are your, what are your some of your favorites. It's open. Oh, uh, is this the wrong place? I must have clicked on the wrong place. Maybe it's the one over here. with you on the fantasy RPGs that's uh that's my first love I, I like strategy games too and uh the heck are you why would I help a complete stranger especially one with your reputation what I am now confused don't hurt me hand you the prayer beads and please Okay. <laughs> I 
Luckily, we're already right here in Charway, so we don't have to go far. Oh, agreed, yeah. I mean, I've been playing MTG for a while now, but I really... Watching really good players like Crokies play, I just learned so much. I'm with you on that. I mean, I sometimes I can make some really brilliant plays, but for me, the most part is... I don't know, I, uh, I have some biases that, that I have to admit to myself before I'll ever be a better player uh, of Magic the Gathering, and one of my biases is that I like to build these interesting and creative decks that aren't necessarily as competitive as they could be. Uh, and then also, uh, my big weakness is that uh, I like to play the game so much that I'm not constantly doing the math in my head how I can win more efficiently. And so I'll just, I'll like keep making plays, even though I could find ways to win more efficiently. And I just, you know, and, and sometimes I'll just blow, blow it. I'll just blow it. <laughs> and, uh, but it's, uh, it's a game that, uh, you know, you can, you can continue to grow and improve. I like, it's sort of a metaphor for a lot of things in life. I think arena is, um, it's, I definitely get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Also, a lot of frustration, too. It can be a really frustrating game to play sometimes. <clears throat> I agree. I agree with you, too. I, I, I agree with you, too. There's, there's two different ways to really enjoy magic, right? You just the creativity of the decks, the seeing the crazy concoctions that people come up with and seeing if they can pull it off. That's a, always fun. Then, then there's also that... It's fun when, you, when you're playing a game to win, right? Like on Friday Night Magic or something, it's cool to, to, to see if you can make a game, make, make your own deck that's competitive enough to compete with the kind of figured out decks. So, uh, I, yeah, I'm, since I stand kind of in the middle of those two junctions, uh, or stand in the junction of those two uh, dichotomies, I just end up, uh, you know, never kind of, uh, growing enough in either, <laughs> I suppose. <clears throat> Think, okay, that situation's resolved. You can never really tell from the start whether an exorcism is really merited or not. You've done well, Galadun. Accept this rare symbol as a small token of our thanks for your efforts. Ooh. That's worth a decent, decent chunk, I think, isn't it? What is it? What is that worth? Rare symbol. 40 gold. And I still have the prayer beads? What's up with that? Okay. Training. Training. this game today I'm gonna have to investigate and see what it takes to uh, get to the next rank since we're rep 64 with these guys what's it gonna take right I mean wow I can only suspect that one of these magic things we need to be a lot higher in 